Walker. Well, do you think you could do something about that rock? I'll give you some bombs and arrows, so just put them together and shoot bomb arrows at that thing. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Uh, we'll put... I don't know, the clock up there. There you go. You happy, lady? I freed up the dam. Yes. Yay! You did it! Well, my gal tells me you're still some... Oh, God! Of course, it's a freaking quest. Mark's blocking on the river, so you should take care of those, too. Here's the boat. Hop in. Uh -huh. Now, it's a tinsy bit dangerous down the river from here, so don't leave the boat, okay? One of our part-timers is waiting down there. You get into details from her. Oh, God. And when you're done, you can keep the bomb bag and everything is taken as my appreciation. So be seeing ya. So, yeah. Try floating down the middle and you'll get a bunch of rupees. No! I already missed one. I've never gotten all the rupees in my life here. Anyone else think this music might sound a little bit like Reading Rainbow's opening theme? I don't know, it sounds similar to me. It sounds like that to me. Yeah, controlling the bolt's a little hard. Yeah, crap, 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 five rupee in there. Another five rupee right there. <laughs> Wee waterfall! Ah, just wasted an arrow. Huh? So that's her part timer, it's a Zora. Yeah, yeah, You're, the rocks are blocking the way. Let me get at them. You did it! Thank you! Oh, great. You know, if the water was blocked that badly by that boulder, if it was completely blocked, there would be an upstream of water. The water current would flow so fast that Link would have been sucked in. Try following her if you can, because she drops rupees. <laughs> of course, now that I'm actually recording, I can't get a single rupee. It's always like that. Fucking... Help peekers! Ow. Yeah, whenever you bump into the side, there's also, uh... You lose your focus with your bomb arrows. If you could follow her, she drops rupees as you can see. She's actually literally throwing rupees at you as a, you know, trail of crumb breads. Ah, come on! Hit detection collision on this thing is a little wonky. Oh, that was weird. I'm not gonna complain. You can actually sink your boat if you knock it too many times. So be careful. Finally got a five rupee. Ooh, another one. Is there any more to going to drop? No. Crap. Yeah, you can actually now beat her to the end. Or she always wins, I beat you at the end of it. And who cares? This is the end of the boat ride. Yeah, and now you got a second bomb arrow bag. This is 
is your upgrade for your bombs. This actually sucks. I liked it when your bomb bag was actually a huge bomb bag every time that upgraded. Now you get multiple bomb bags. Anyways, that's said and done for. Oh, that's kind of pointless. Oy. Come on. So now we can actually finally get moving on with the story. Ow. to learn our desert so but we know where it is so we have an easy way to get there now we just have to see the guy that kind of looks like but isn't Mario I think he looks a bit like a, a dumbass Mario Any cuckoo. There is a. There, I don't know if there's a difference between the white and all this. So what you gotta do is fly through the rupee ring, the rupees, and the ones you fly through, you get. Come on. Now as you guys can see there's a little island right there that was built onto the side. Uh no, I'm not gonna get it probably. On the top top one there's a chest. As you guys can see it. And the second there's a chest on pretty much all of them. And on the very top one is a heart heart piece. Screw you. Oh, that was unfair. Come here. Yay. God damn it. Transform into human. And there is a chest on every level, and the lowest level I believe there is... 
a single or five rupee. It starts out with a hard container, a hundred rupees, uh, and it goes down 50, 20, 10, and that's it. On this level, there's nothing. So you can do this multiple times to win back the rupees you pretty much lost. The 30 rupees in total you've lost, probably. So now, now I'm gonna do it the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Oasis, Oasis flight. What is that? I wonder. to Lanaru Desert now. <laughs> Garuda Desert, sorry. Sorry, I've been playing a little bit of Skyward Sword from time to time. Blink. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember the spirit said about a few shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. Wow. It was another world entirely. An antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. The denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return from the, to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, where shadow, were mere shadows of high rule. This is the history of the Twi'li, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you understand what I am? I am the sender of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm! It was a peaceful place until Xan took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all the Twi'li into shadow beasts. It's clear to me now that he got he that he somehow gained the great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale told by my people. Through the goddesses forbid us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the pr protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Any other desert levels, if you stay on the sand too long, there's gonna be some type of worm enemies and is that thing. Out of bow? Oh, 
as you know. I never even knew that was there until now. And there they are! We'll be facing enough of those later on. I didn't even know this was here. So yeah. That's how you defeat those out of your sand. But now I'm, we gotta tail it out of here. Yeah, they can't pop up through rocks, but they can pop up through the sand. Which is what you don't want them doing, actually. But you're probably gonna end up having no choice to do so. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no! No folly! Here, I guess at night. Uh, sometimes there is. A, I'm guessing it's only during the day. There's a boar which you can ride on. 